Hey fellows, welcome back! This video is recorded through the brand new GitHub F1 and the next few minutes are dedicated to unboxing and the first impressions. Let's go! Now, this is one of the products which I was really impatiently waiting for. Uh, the GitHub F1, as the name suggests, apparently it is designed for drone enthusiasts, but it is an interesting hybrid. And I call it a hybrid because it combines FPV capabilities with the qualities of an action camera. And no, it does not have a display, but there is a very convenient application which you could use instead of one. As a happy owner of the Git 2, I knew this camera is going to be good, uh, in fact it surpassed my expectation and it hardened my opinion that GitHub is in fact a very friendly, open to community feedback company. Uh, I'd like to thank their team for providing this sample for a review and I'm, I'm really happy to be one of the first to get my hands on this lovely camera. Uh, now I'm gonna guide you through a quick unboxing, a few samples and then of course there's gonna be a second follow-up video with the so-called deep dive where I'm going to thoroughly explore the capabilities of this action cam. Let's begin! The GitHub F1 is a true 4K camera offering amazing characteristics. Going through the notes on the bottom side of the box, we can see what we're up to. Looks like it was worth waiting for such a long time. Let's explore the content of the box. A USB cable. The mini standard is used instead of micro because that allows GitHub to include support for external microphone and more importantly FPV. Through the designated cable you can get AV output as well as pulse with modulations, allowing you to begin and stop recordings remotely via a drone transmitter. You also have a camera mount that is compatible with standard ball head tripods. The camera now. Build quality outstanding. The weight of 68 grams without a display indicates it is designed with quality materials. Processing power comes out of an Umbrella A12 chipset and the lens is IMX317 which is a Sony Exmor sensor, the same used in the Xiaomi Mi Jia action camera. You have a monochrome display and three control buttons. I got used to them within just a couple of minutes, the menus make quite good sense and during the first hours of using the camera I didn't notice anything significant missing. Picture seems sharp and as usual there's a number of color presets. I've stick to the default one that is named after GitHub's brand. There's a big number of supported resolutions and besides 4K, I would highlight the 120 frames per second full HD as quite attractive. Photo resolution is up to 8 megapixel, which indicates no software interpolation and seems to bring a lot of light to the pixels. I'm looking forward to the low light test in the forthcoming deep dive video. There also is gyroscope for electronic image stabilization, battery is just above 1000 mAh and it is replaceable. I was a bit surprised to see a requirement of class 10 only micro SD cards and to be on the safe side you may want to use U3 and above. Last but not least, connectivity, where GitHub shines again as innovative company and is among the first on the market to offer choice between 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. In short, a decent camera. An exciting hybrid between FPV and action cam. That's what the GitHub F1 is. For questions and comments, I'd love to hear from you in the section below. In the video description you would find more detailed information about the camera, as well links to order it. As mentioned already, the deep dive follow-up is coming soon and until then, show me how you like this video and share it with anybody that likes action camps. Smiles and greetings from me and hope to see you soon.